Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about this new discovery of a pretty cool planet. The planet that you see on the screen is basically losing a tremendous amount of mass. It's totally inflated, it's uh, surrounded by its own atmosphere and it will most likely become a very unusual object in the next few billion years. So let's talk about this new discovery and welcome to What The Math. Now there are definitely a lot of really unusual planets out there and there are a lot of uh, planets that may not really make a lot of sense to us but this one specifically seems to really take the cake in terms of at least uh, how it's transforming over time. We think this particular planet is only about 2 billion years old but it already has lost about 35% of its total mass. As a matter of fact, we think um, it used to be what's known as a mini Neptune, and it's slowly transforming into something completely different. And it's also actually helping us understand why our own solar system is so unique and so different from other star systems. So let's actually take a look at this uh, particular discovery, and you can find it yourself in um, several simulations, including the simulation that I use a lot on the channel known as NASA's Eyes. If you go and type the name of the star, which is GJ3470, you're going to discover both the star, which is right here, and the planet. So let's, let's go check it out. It's uh, at a distance of just under 100 light years, uh, so specifically 82 light years actually. And it's uh, classified as a red dwarf, so it's um, about half the mass of our own sun. And around this star is the planet that's um, actually not very common. It's known as a mini Neptune, and you can see the planet orbiting right there, relatively close to the star. It's actually about 10 times as close as Mercury is to our own sun. And this particular planet um, is about 14 masses of Earth. It's very, very similar uh, in both mass and composition to our own Neptune, and is basically known as a kind of a mini Neptune. But, as I mentioned, it was a lot more massive before, it was possibly about 35% more massive, and in the next few billion years might actually lose half of its mass. As a matter of fact, it may even become a terrestrial planet. Now, this is actually a very interesting finding because it allows us to imagine what may have happened in our own solar system and help us understand how our own solar system may have transformed and either lost its Neptune-like objects that were very close to the Sun, or, and this is actually something I've talked about on the channel before, and you can check out the video about this in the, in the link somewhere above, but basically um, it's quite possible that Mercury may have been actually some kind of a Neptune-like object that lost its atmosphere and became what's known as a Ketonian planet. Now, this is a hypothesis that some scientists suggested previously. It has never really been proven because it's kind of hard to prove something like this. But it would explain why our own solar system doesn't seem to have any kind of super Earths, super Neptunes or super Jupiters that are close to the Sun. Almost every other star system we've discovered has these unusual objects. No matter where you look in space, no matter what uh, system you look at, they seem to have uh, a lot of very massive um, gas giants or sometimes gas dwarfs orbiting very close to the star. Our sun has nothing like that, it only has terrestrial planets. And the mystery behind this has not really been answered just yet. And so maybe just maybe that's a potential explanation. So a planet may have been there and either fell into our sun got kicked out of the solar system by other planets, or it lost its atmosphere just like uh, GJ3470b and became Mercury, maybe? It's a long shot, it's a long shot hypothesis, but it's actually kind of not really far-fetched. Now, uh, more about this planet, or what we know about it, is that uh, its orbit is approximately three days long. Its eccentricity is also very low, um, and really the only thing that really makes it kind of unusual, unique, and in some sense weird, is that due to its distance to its parent star and its composition and very very high um, percentage of hydrogen in the atmosphere, it lost a tremendous amount of stuff. As a matter of fact, we think it's probably surrounded by a kind of a cloud of hydrogen. And so if we were to simulate this in Universe Sandbox, 
This is kind of what would happen here almost right away. So let's just actually run the simulation. And um, because of the distances involved here, the planet is slowly losing its atmosphere and it's kind of escaping away, making the actual object smaller and smaller and smaller with every single year. Now, um, in about 4 billion years, it may actually completely evaporate, depending on what's inside. If it does not have any solid core, if it doesn't have an actual terrestrial-like core on the inside, and if it's basically just gas, it might actually completely disappear and become just nothing but dust. And uh, for all we know, it could have happened here um, in our own solar system. But for now, until we actually find more such planets and until we actually see more of an evolution of these planets, we can't really tell for sure what happened in our own solar system and why we don't seem to have these objects. And if you were to actually look at the amount of material lost here per second, I think it equals about 11,000 tons of hydrogen every single second. That's about 7 million times faster than our own planet Earth loses its material. So in other words, this planet here evaporates really, really, really fast. And although technically this is right now the record holder for the fastest mass loss of any planet, I'm sure eventually we'll find something that's even doing this much faster. We just have to look around for a planet that's even closer, even hotter, and has even more hydrogen. For now though, uh, the record for the fastest mass loss goes to this object right here, and only for the next, uh, I guess, 4 billion years until it may completely disappear. Anyway, if you want to know more about this particular planet and want to discover what these scientists actually found and read the paper, it's in the description below. For now though, that's really all we know because we've kind of just discovered this object relatively recently. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about our universe and our galaxy and the planets in our galaxy. And if you've enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button right now and maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me quite a lot. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else about the universe you may have not known. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.